What's in the box? What's in the box? Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna to take a look inside this box which contains what I think are the five greatest trout spinners of all time. This isn't gonna be like Meps is the best or Panther Martin is the best. This is gonna be specific down to the color of each spinner. So if you guys are into fishing, go check out the description box down below. I put lots of quick links down there. There's a link to hit that subscribe button if you're into that kind of thing. You can smash that thumbs up. I'll also put links to all of these spinners so you can go check them out for yourself and links to other cool videos. With that being said, let's check out these spinners. We're gonna start this list off with spinner number five and work our way all the way to number one. And once we get through to what I think is the best spinner of all time, I'm gonna show you guys an honorable mention spinner that I think deserves to be on this list. Now this list was kind of hard for me to come up with because there's a lot of great spinners out there. Keep in mind that I live in Northwest Washington State in the Pacific Northwest and mainly fish mountain lakes. However, I do think that these spinners are still applicable even if you live in Indiana or Maine. Spinner number five on our list today is going to be a number three Blue Fox Super Vibrax. I use this spinner mainly in larger clear lakes where the trout are able to get big enough to feed on other trout and not just bugs. As this moves through the water, it, the way it flashes looks like a smaller trout and the larger trout will come up to strike this to basically try and eat a smaller fish. Spinner number four. So this is another Blue Fox Super Vibrax size three, except as you can see, this one is all bronze. This is a great all around spinner, whether you're fishing a high lake or swampy water or clear water. Uh, this is just a more natural color than say the bright blue and silver. Uh, this mimics things you might see in nature a little better, and I've had great success with this in all types of different water. Spinner number, whoops, spinner number three is a Panther Martin number nine. This one has a black body with the yellow dots and specifically a bronze blade. This also comes with a silver blade, but for the reasons in the previous spinner, I like the bronze blade much better. It just mimics more natural colors. I do rel really well with this one where fish tend to feed off the surface on bugs, beetles, and flies, things like that. But this is a pretty good all around spinner. I just tend to use it less in large lakes where the fish feed off other fish and more in smaller high country or back country lakes or even low country lakes where the fish feed more on bugs. Okay, you guys, so here's where things got really rough for me as spots number two and spots number one. I think both of these spinners are almost interchangeable, but I had to make a top five list, so I had to pick. And coming in at number two, another Panther Martin, size number nine, but this time in rainbow trout color. So this spinner, is probably my best producing spinner as far as just total numbers go. I absolutely love this spinner. Uh, it's got natural colors to it, so it works in all types of water. This has just been a really, really productive spinner with for me. I probably own 10 of these in different sizes. I really, really love this spinner. Dun, 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 drum roll, everybody. All right, spinner number one, my top favorite spinner of all time. It's a classic, the rooster tail. And this rooster tail is the rainbow trout colored rooster tail, specifically with the bronze blade, not with the silver blade. This spinner is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, it fishes all types of water really well. It casts really well. It always works. It has great action. And I've just caught a ton of fish on it. I love fishing this rooster tail. Rooster tail is just, it's just a classic spinner. And that's why the rooster tail has to go to number one. Not only is it a classic, but it also just catches fish. This is a great spinner. And if I had to choose one spinner to use for the rest of my life, it would be this specific spinner 
in any water. One thing you might have noticed about all these spinners is that they are all in the quarter ounce weight range. And I think the quarter ounce weight range is just the perfect range for casting distance as well as the actual physical size of the spinner for these high lake trout and smaller lake trout or even bigger lake trout that I'm after. I don't want to present them with something gigantic or something too small. So this quarter ounce weight range here, it casts great and it's just the perfect size for a wide variety of trout that I'm going after. All right, now that we've had a look at my top five favorite spinners of all time, let's take a look at that runner up or at least honorable mention. Now you guys can decide whether you think this is a spinner or not, but I think it deserves a place on this list. I've had tremendous success with this little lure. So check it out. This is the beetle spin. So the reason I think it deserves a spot at least somewhere on or near this list is how it works is this little spoon up here spins above this grub. You attach your line here and it pulls through the water as that blade spins above this little grub. Boop, boop, boop. So I've had tremendous success with this. It's not your classic spinner, but it does have a spinning component. And uh, this comes in multiple sizes, so you can get different lengths of grub, different color grub, different size uh, jig head. So this comes in all sizes, colors, and lengths and weights. Another thing you can do is just buy a little thing of jig spinners. And you can attach your own jig head and your own plastic to it and make your own beetle spin. There it is, my top five favorite spinners of all times. What changes would you guys make? Would you swap out an entire spinner altogether? Would you change the order? Let me know in the comments down below what changes you guys would make. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.